Hello and welcome back to Airport Operations. Now, let's talk a little bit about airport markings and signs. As we get into this, I want you to see that in general, we're gonna have red ones, yellow ones, and black ones. Remember, you've got to study EPIC's online learning and work with your flight instructor. In general, when we talk about the red signs, here's an example. A big bold red, 422. The red means runway, 422 means runway, 422. Notice as you're looking at this sign, the number four is on your left, the number 22 is on your right. If you were to proceed out to that runway, the 040 approach end would be to your left, the 22 approach end would be to your right. So signs that are red have to do with runways. Take a look at this one. Here's a no entry sign, a circle with a line through it, and it's red. This means you cannot enter the runway here. That's prohibited area. These are the red ones. What about the yellow ones? The yellow signs uh, you can think of more as directional and informational. Let's take a look at an important one right here. This is a runway hold short line. Notice there's two solid lines and then there's two dash lines right under it. What this is telling you is you are approaching a runway and you need to hold short. Now, when you look at this sign, you might think to yourself, okay, I'm approaching the runway, but which side is the runway on? There's a lot of different ways to remember this. Here's one that works for me. Imagine the dash side of the line is the aircraft doing touch and goes. That's the active runway side. So the solid lines are the taxiway side, and that's where you're sitting in your airplane holding short. It's important to know that if any part of your airplane crosses that line, whether it's a wingtip or a tail, you violated that runway space. So as you work with your flight instructor, you'll discover that one good way to approach these is to come to a complete stop while you can still see that hold short line outside your cockpit window. That way you know you're well clear. All right, take a look at this one. Letters. J for Julia to my left. L for Lima down and to the right. These are directional signs pointing me to something. Take a look at this one. Two, two arrow straight up, that means straight ahead. Well, what are they pointing me to? The letters are pointing me to taxiways. The numbers are pointing me to runways. So runway 22, straight ahead. Taxiway Juliet, to my right. All right, now, the third category are the black ones. Here's an example. See the bright yellow B on the black background? Letters are taxiways. You're on taxiway B, or as pilots would say, bravo. Now there's a neat little rhyme to help you remember this. Yellow on black is where I'm at. So if I look at this yellow B on the black background, I'm on taxiway bravo, okay? Take a look at this final sign. This one combines yellow and black. Look at this. Do you see that? G for golf in the middle. A for alpha is on your left. L for lima is on your right. What is it telling me? What it's telling me is yellow on black is where I'm at. I am on taxiway golf. And if I wanted to get to Taxiway Lima, I would turn right. Now, in addition, 
taxiways have other markers. On a taxiway, you might see this shape. This is two parallel lines with short up and down parallels. This is similar to a hold short line. But when you see this at an airport, we call it an ILS critical hold short line. What does that mean? You'll learn about the ILS later. That's an instrument landing system, and pilots who are coming in on an instrument approach are dependent upon some ground transmitters sending signals to their airplane. During these instrument conditions, if my airplane were too close to that ground transmitter, I could interfere with that signal. So during instrument operations, the tower controller might tell me to hold short at the ILS hold short line. That's what it looks like. Okay. In addition, taxiways have a solid yellow line right down their center. Take a look at this one. Here's my aircraft taxiing right down this solid yellow line, and off my left wingtip, I see two parallel solid yellow lines and these yellow hatch marks. That tells me that surface is non-usable. Now here's a very similar diagram. My, ta my airplane is taxiing right down this yellow line, and off my, my left wingtip are parallel yellow lines but they're spaced. That taxiway could be usable. Now, if you take a look at runway 15 here, and we see runway 18 crossing, when you first look at this, you think to yourself, oh my goodness, here are a lot of signs and markings. But if you apply some of the tricks and tips we just talked about, you're gonna see it's not quite as confusing as it looks at first glance. Let's start with the big black runway 15. What does that mean? Magnetic heading 150, the number for the runway is 15. It looks like it could be a non-precision approach runway. It also has a blast pad, do you see that? And notice where this taxiway comes into 1.5, it's not gonna let me taxi on the blast pad. When you look closely at the signs around the taxiway, you see that they're yellow on black, yellow on black is where I'm at, or Black on yellow, the yellow signs are directional. Notice as you get up close to the runway, the signs are red, indicating that this is a runway. So as you continue to study these at EPIC's online learning and with your flight instructor, you'll see they'll start to make a lot more sense very quickly.